Hello everybody, welcome back to another great showcase video where today we are continuing on with our Queen Helga army. Actually, my Queen Helga army. I of course am Trevor Selescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today we're going to be taking a look at our first artillery piece for this army, which of course is the very old Dwarf Grudge Thrower model kit. Now this model kit it was actually built by my good friend James and I sort of ended up uh, absorbing it into my army and so we're gonna take a quick look at that right now now today I have a little bit of a treat for you now these models I did not paint but the colors matched Queen Helga's army right to a T now this model is the dwarf grudge thrower and it was painted by my good friend James who I've known for many a year and as you can see James did use some highlighting techniques as well as some static grass on sort of a mud style base. He also painted the grudge thrower with steel and added in all the gold along the Celtic knotwork in here. Now the grudge thrower is quite a cool model. I actually have one that I did build which was a resin kit but this one is all white metal, no, original. And I do like the characters in the Grudge Thrower. You have the guy that is mining for the rocks to put in the top here, who's very exhausted. And then back here you've got the guy that is cranking on the crank down here to tighten up the rope to make the Grudge Thrower fire. And then you've got the engineer here who is directing everybody as to where to fire the Grudge Thrower. Now sadly the Grudge Thrower is no longer in service in the Dwarf Army, but it was always a really cool model and the thing about it is it has a very far range, being able to shoot 48 inches across the board in its last incarnation in Warhammer Age of Sigmar. It does have a narrow spot in the front though of 10 inches I do believe? No, it was 8. 8 and it could shoot 40 inches, that's what it was. But uh, yeah, any models that were 8 inches away this could not fire at so the crew had to fend them off with just their tools. Now this was James' earlier work, and he has advanced quite a lot since this time period, but even back here, you can't complain, this is excellent work. James has appeared, or at least his models have appeared, in recent White Dwarf magazines, so that is quite a good accomplishment for my friend James. That brings us to the end of our Dwarf Grudge Thrower examination for Queen Helga's army. And if you've built a Grudge Thrower in the past, we want to see your pictures over on our Facebook page. And I will leave the link for that in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Dwarf Grudge Thrower as painted by my good friend James and adapted into my Queen Helgar army. Now, if you have built this model kit in the past, please share your photos on our Facebook page. And I will leave the link for that in the description below. Don't forget to check out our website for our most available Warhammer Age Sigmar models, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you want to play Warhammer, come on down on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. We'll have a great big game going. So until next time, everyone, happy wargaming.